you would know because Walter Payne's name is on it, is that it stood for excellence. It's a very important award for our league and for our game, and we have a very important partner nationwide. We're very glad at the NFL that Nationwide is on our side. <laughs> All right, the mic is working. Uh, so, so it is my pleasure to introduce the Chief Marketing Officer of Nationwide, Terrence Williams. Good morning, everyone. I thought that was a great job with the jingle, but maybe we'll get him to try it again after I'm done. Uh, so first, it is indeed a pleasure for me to stand here before you this morning. Uh, with this opportunity that we are about to talk about. Uh, before I get started, I would also offer my thanks and appreciation uh, to the commissioner, as well as the Peyton family for allowing Nationwide to take part in this great award. At Nationwide, we, we feel strongly about partnering with the communities that we do business in. In fact, one of the things we often say is that we're more than a business. And that term was coined a number of years ago within our organization, and the intent around it is that we believe it's our duty, it's our obligation to ensure that we are working for betterment of communities. And we do that through a host of different ways, but that's one of the reasons why we're so excited about the Walter Payton Man of the Year Award. As I was reading through the nominees, they are all winners when you consider the efforts that they undertake to drive change, to drive betterment within the communities that they live and work in. We also feel strong, so strongly about those uh, nominations that we've contributed nearly $350,000 uh, to the charitable organizations that are represented by these men. So our goal, our belief, is that we should work to elevate the awareness around all the work that's taking place right now because too often we don't hear about all the great things that are going on in this community. So Nationwide is proud to support this effort and we look forward to doing so for many years to come. Uh, so with that, I will turn it back over to Matt. Thank you very much. The Walter Payton Man of the Year Award recognizes excellence on and off the field. And it's a fitting tribute to not only a great football player, but a great man. But there, there are many branches to Walter Payton's legacy, and none shine brighter than his family. His wife, Connie, his son, Jared, and his daughter, Brittany. And it is my pleasure now to introduce Brittany Payton. an award unlike any other in the world of sports. It continues to serve as a tribute of achievement in recognizing a player, not just for his excellence on the field, but his personal commitment to community service as well. This award is extremely special to our family as it carries the name of my father, Walter Payton, who gained the respect of others through his hard work and perseverance to achieve his dreams and had an endless enthusiasm when it came that the legacy of the man known as Sweetness lives through this award. We stand here today to celebrate three distinguished men who game after game showcase their leadership, dedication, and skill. More importantly, they carry the importance of these same qualities off the field by reaching out to those in their own communities and wherever needed, lending both financial and moral support. Benjamin Watson, tight end for the New Orleans Saints, leaves no loose ends when it comes to being a leader. A man of deep faith, Benjamin's One More Foundation carries the hope and love of Christ to those who need it most, while understanding that the best and most effective way to reach people's hearts is by first meeting their physical needs. Watson has been quoted saying, Athletes are simply people who have been blessed with a tremendous gift to play sports, but we still care what is going on around us. Benjamin continues to act on this belief with various youth and family programs, not only throughout the greater New Orleans community, but also back in his hometown. He was named one of CNN's most extraordinary people of the year 2004, and in 2015 released his first book, Under Our Skin. Eli Manning, quarterback for the New York Giants, 
is a proven leader both on and off the field. Eli is an avid supporter of causes that involve children. For the past seven years, Eli has served as chair for the New York March for Babies. He also spearheads Tackle Kids Cancer, an initiative with Hackensack University Medical Center. But Eli's commitment to children in need does not stop there. Realizing there was only one children's hospital in Mississippi, Eli to this continued success and service to the community. They founded the Eli and Abby Manning Children's Clinics in 2007 and kicked off a five-year fundraising campaign that ultimately raised nearly $3 million. Eli's long-term commitment to bettering the lives of children in various ways is very admirable and further validates his inclusion as a finalist for the Walter Payton NFL Man of the Year. Antoine Bolden, wide receiver for the San Francisco 49ers, continues to seize opportunities to help change lives. His sound commitment to the community has created and sustained activities across the country and abroad. The Antoine Bolden Foundation was formed in 2004 with a mission to expand the educational and life opportunities of underprivileged youth. Antoine is diligent and a hands-on supporter of numerous youth and family programs, including an eight-week summer enrichment program for kids to get back on track in school and graduate on time. Bolden has also been involved with Oxfam America since 2010, traveling to Ethiopia and Senegal, and later testifying at the White House on behalf of Senegalese rights. Whatever the cause may be, Antoine continues to make an impactful difference in the lives of others. On behalf of my family, know that we are proud and honored to have Benjamin, Eli, and Antoine as nominees for the Walter Payton NFL Man of the Year Award. Please know that you are all winners in our eyes. May God bless you and, your, and continue to guide you in your every endeavor. Thank you. Dozens or hundreds of players in the National Football League that are worthy of being finalists for this award. But there are no, these three, there's no three more deserving than these guys. Uh, as Brittany just chronicled their endeavors off the field, I think on the field what they do is, is just as impressive. It's, it's an honor to, uh, to have called these guys colleagues and, uh, and brothers in the NFL, even though all three of them kind of seem like ageless wonders on the field. At some point, uh, they will be retired and we'll, we'll be honored to have them in the retired players community as well. Uh, it, is my, it is my honor and my privilege to introduce the first 2016 Walter Payton Man of the Year finalist, Anquan Bolden. I was definitely an honor to be here. Um, I would like to thank the NFL uh, nationwide, as well as the, the Payton family, uh, for the nomination. Um, I think for myself, and I'm sure that these guys will tell you that. The things that we do in the community is not for accolades, it's not to win awards, but it's because we truly feel in our heart that's the right thing to do. And we want to see people succeed and be successful in their lives as well. So once again, I just want to say thank you. Um, it's an honor and a privilege uh, to be nominated for the Walter Payton Man of the Year Award. surprised you didn't talk about how much of a positive influence I was when we locked her next to each other in Baltimore. <laughs> I'm not disappointed, I'm just surprised you didn't go that way. <laughs> Second 2016 Walter Payton Man of the Year finalist, Eli Manning. Thank you. Uh, just really want to thank you for, um, for supporting, uh, supporting this and for recognizing all the great works that NFL players are doing in their communities. And I um, want of course thank the, the Payton family and their foundation for the great work they're doing for children and veterans. And uh, obviously, you know, they'll, uh, one winner will be named uh, tomorrow night, but with, with Anquan and Ben and myself, I think we're all winners for being recognized for this and the work that we're doing in our communities. And 
when we look back, uh, it's funny, having known these guys for 12 years, we, we all trained together back in 2004 in Bradenton, Florida. Uh, you know, Ben and I were getting ready for the draft, and Anquan just finished his rookie year. And uh, having known them, I think uh, our finest moments will not be the catches, the touchdowns, the success we've had on the field, but uh, the impact we've made on people's lives and in our communities. So uh, thank you for, uh, for bringing us here right now. Thank you. Well said, and our final 2016 Walter Payton Man of the Year finalist, Benjamin Watson. It's an honor uh, to stand before you as, as a finalist. I want to thank Nationwide, obviously, for their partnership with the NFL. I want to thank the Payton family uh, for continuing to be an example of excellence, not just as an individual, but as a family. Um, I want to thank the Saints family and, and just the entire NFL community for, for really having this award to highlight what guys in the NFL are doing. Our league is filled with many men who are doing a lot of great things in their community. Many men who care about the places that they came from, care about the, the cities where they play in, care about people around the world. And so um, as we as we look at the NFL, it, it, it's really awesome to be able to, to highlight those things and to encourage other guys, younger players, which as Eli mentioned, we were all one of those younger players that looked up to men who won the Walter. My wife and I always talk about is, is uh, leaving a legacy. And in our lives, how we live our lives, we want to leave a legacy um, for our children, but also for other people that we come in contact with. And I think that when you look at this award, um, again, it's humbling and, and, and it's an honor even to be named. Um, it's really about the greatest things uh, that we as players have to offer. It's about us as people. And I think that uh, you know to have this award to highlight that is it, really uh, a great thing for the NFL to do. And, and I'm honored to be a part of it. Thank you.